everybody, I um, was going to give you an update on this XYX Moto 50cc that I bought Kai. He's seven years old, an average size. It fits him good. Um, I actually bought it for him when he was six, and he rode it a little bit. Um, didn't get too fast with it. Rode around in circles in the yard. Um, it, it, he was kind of wobbly, and I was wondering why he was being so wobbly. So I got on it myself and rode it. I'm uh, six foot, 200 pounds, and it pulled me around just fine. Um, the thing that I found to be the issue with the bike, I mean, it's a cool little bike. Um, it looks good, but I think the issue is the way the forks are out. Um, the angle of the forks go way out in front of the bike, and the thing is not a real stable to steer. Um, so he was having some issues with control and after I got on it and rode it um, I realized that there was some kind of an issue with the bike now for the price it's, it's a good bike and he got on it and had fun with it at times um, but I decided to go ahead and spend the extra money and buy a um, CRF 50 for him the CRF 50 is a uh, much heavier bike and it's so much more stable to ride. I can ride that around and it, it feels smooth. It turns well. It takes the corners nice, nice and smooth, as opposed to this XY, SYX Moto, the 50cc. Hey, dude. Um, if you're just, you know, I don't didn't have a lot of money to spend on bikes, and so I thought I'd give this one a go. And, and I'm, I'm happy with it for the price, but I am going to turn around and sell it and disclose um, the issues that I found with it. I don't know if there's any kind of adjustments or modifications you can make with these that would uh, make them more stable, but um, I decided to save up a little bit of money and go ahead and get the uh, CRF 50 and it's a much better bike and well worth the uh, extra thousand dollars I paid. Making for a it. motorcycle video? Yep, motorcycle video just so people can know a little bit more about this XYX Moto. Also about this, um, when I got this bike, um, I had to do an adjustment on the carburetor. There is a throttle adjustment on the carburetor. It was uh, not running. It was uh, not idling actually. And it was a uh, really, really low idle. So I had to turn that up a little bit. There's a screw on the bottom of this that you can get to, um, to turn the idle up. And that's one thing it took me a minute to find. So just letting you know that as well.